Hi guys, Carrie K here. So this video is going to showcase my AI generated EDM project. Stick around to the end to hear some robotic bangers. I originally wasn't going to make a video about this because it really didn't go according to plan. But that hasn't stopped me before, has it? Anyway, have you guys heard about thispersondoesnotexist.com? It's this website that generates images of completely fake human faces using generative adversarial neural networks. The exact algorithm behind all of this is called StyleGAN, and it was developed by our lovely GPU overlord NVIDIA. You may have already known about Style because it's been publicly available for about two years now. What you may not have known about, though, is that there's this third-party tool called Runway ML that allows you to train StyleGAN on your own image datasets, even if you don't have much machine learning experience. It's such a relief that a user-friendly tool like Runway ML even exists, because otherwise, you might think you do have enough machine learning experience to try to download StyleGAN's raw source code and run it locally on your computer. Cool. Oh no, error. Wah. Whatever. And you might end up corrupting your entire Ubuntu partition, making it unusable, and then you might make an embarrassing 8 minute video asking for help and it's still not fixed 5 months later. That's just a hypothetical. Anyway, with Runway ML's nifty upload feature, you can upload images of flower paintings. Then, after a couple hours of Runway's computers churning away, StyleGAN will no longer generate fake human faces, it'll instead generate fake flower painting images. And you can do this for whatever images you want, as long as you can find several thousand of them to form the dataset for StyleGAN to train off of. Emojis, skyscrapers, even the Simpsons. By the way, Runway ML isn't sponsoring me for anything, I just think their tool is super cool and easy to use. As an example, here's me training a Runway model, eh, Runway model, on a folder of 4,975 screenshots of the show BFDI. And you can see how the model evolves from its original purpose of generating oil paintings of birds, to its new purpose of generating BFDI screenshots, or rather, hellish attempts at replicating BFDI screenshots, I don't want to live there. Okay, so even though that particular example may not have worked perfectly, the conclusion is that StyleGAN is pretty powerful. In fact, the second version of StyleGAN, which came out earlier this year, solved minor problems like the teeth being glued to pixels rather than jawbones. And it might be the most advanced image generation technology humankind has to offer at this moment, besides your mom. With that in mind, I thought to myself, okay, StyleGAN produces images. I like listening to EDM or electronic dance music a lot, but EDM was made by humans, and let's be honest, you. After all, it's called electronic dance music, so I'd rather have some electronic robots writing my music for me. And yeah, I am aware that OpenAI's Jukebox program is already quite proficient at generating or continuing the raw audio of any song in any music genre. Let the darkness fade away. But I personally just want to have my own swing at this problem, just to see what I can accomplish on my own. So here's what I did instead, to use StyleGAN to create AI-generated EDM, no humans required. Step 1, write a Python script to download every music video from YouTube channels such as No Copyright Sounds, Trap Nation, and other EDM channels, all using YouTube's API and the Python library called PyTube. That's about 3,300 mp4 files on my computer now, which I could claim is the biggest playlist ever, but honestly, that's probably not even true. Step 2. For each song, detect their beats per minute with all these Python libraries and a bunch of code that I found or stole online or uh, found, I found. Next, step 3. Convert these 3300 audio files into two-dimensional spectrograms using ARSS, so that the whole spectrum of sound can now be represented in an image form. By the way, using all the BPM data from earlier, I made all the spectrograms beat aligned, which could in theory help music patterns line up better. I worked on all of these first three steps over the course of about a month in February 2019, so this project's been a long time coming. Before we move on, let's listen to some samples from the training data, meaning the true original EDM written by the humans, that our AI will eventually train with. Some of these might be familiar to you. Please. 
Anyway, step 4. We've got 3329 spectrogram images, so let's just use Runway ML to train a StyleGAN model on this bad boy, or um, image dataset. I shouldn't be calling this thing a bad boy because, well, it's a good boy, but that doesn't really matter. After this, just do everything in reverse. So step 5 is, get StyleGAN to generate a bunch of original spectrogram images in the same style as the dataset. And step 6 is, convert that back into an audio file using ARSS. And then step 7 is to just listen to that audio file and see if it sounds like good EDM music. In theory, it should sound like the music you hear uploaded to no copyright sounds, Trap Nation, and so on. So here's what we got. First, from a visual perspective, the AI-generated images do look similar to the original dataset. I mean, the colors are all correct. And we can even see similar patterns, like this repeating descending structure that suggests we have some sort of rhythm or drumbeat going on. Everything so far is promising. I'm excited to listen to it. So are you ready for 2020's greatest hits? Are you ready to open your ears to the newest wave of popular music that will take the radio by storm? Let's play it! I just made my way into all of your Spotify playlists. I know, no need to thank me. I will be that earworm that gets stuck in your head for months on end. Look at yourself, you're already humming it. And I'm ruthless because here's another absolute banger served hot off the press. Okay, yeah, time to be a little more honest now. They were a tad subpar. But I do have to say, even early on, I didn't have high expectations for StyleGAN's image generation to work well in this instance. The traits that make an image coherent, such as shading, symmetry, and especially the balance between light and dark, have almost nothing in common with the traits that make music coherent, such as rhythm, the repetition of motifs, timbre, and the balance between noise and silence. In fact, this whole StyleGAN endeavor was really just a quick experimental side branch of a different, much larger project that I spent most of June 2020 working on that also crashed and burned. We're not gonna talk about that. I repeat, 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 we're not- Let's look at the positive side of things. The spooky elements of these songs are actually perfect for this time of year, with Halloween just being a couple days away. In fact, in a way, the AI-generated music is almost fitting given the current landscape we're living in in October 2020. With both the COVID-19 pandemic and the TikTok controversy about the $300 balloon birthday letter decoration lady. Like, it's so bad, are the kids even going trick-or-treating this year? I have no idea. You could also play this music in the background of another event that's rapidly coming up, which is the United States presidential election on November 3rd, 2020. I know you guys have already heard this probably a million times already, but if you live in the United States and you're 18 years or older, please 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 vote. You really should vote, wouldn't you just rather have your voices and stances be heard? As you guys know, I'm super interested in data sets and data visualization. I mean, I have a whole channel dedicated to it, Jesus Christ. And machine learning projects like this one wouldn't even be possible without balanced data sets, and ways to correct for bias in data sets when it occurs. Thank you for teaching us about bias correction, CS221, Percy Liang. But it's such a shame that every US election cycle, a huge chunk of citizens' opinions are just not known and not included in the data set because they were too apathetic or too busy or too disenfranchised to get to the ballot boxes in the first place. Especially you millennials and Gen Z and zillennials out there who typically underperform. Where are you guys at this time around? All of this skews the sample so it no longer reflects the population as closely and that sucks. That sort of bias would mess up a simple machine learning algorithm so let's not let it mess up a country. Also if you're not from the United States sorry for all this America-centric talk. Not all of my videos will be like this. Also before I go I 
want to point out that not all of my AI music endeavors have been failures. For example, in my older videos, I've tried to get AI to write Baroque music, jazz, and rap in the past. And all of those actually produced convincing results. I guess Computery's past his peak. So anyway, given that I have this lovely music to play now, I'm gonna endlessly blast it into your ear until you go vote. It will not stop for any other reason, go vote! And it might be too late to mail in a ballot so you might have to deliver it at an official ballot drop box or just vote in person. <laughs> Oh my god, it's 5am, so late, I need to stop recording. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and you can just let the music sweep over you as you transcend into the robot's AI music emporium. But I'll see you in my next video.